Francis Galton's ox. I don't know how many people have ever heard of this story or not. But uh, Francis Galton was, I believe he was a descendant of Darwin. He was a very important scientist around the time of the turn of the century that uh, did a lot of different things. He was a pioneer in statistics. And one day he went to a country fair. And the villagers were um, uh, invited to guess the weight of an ox. Okay, And there were 800 people who put in guesses. None of them guessed the correct weight of the ox. But he found that the average weight of the ox was within one pound of the right weight. Okay, So no single person knew about what the weight of the ox was. But somehow the collective wisdom of the crowd enabled an accurate estimation of these kinds of things. Okay. Here's a collection of pennies. These are all the pennies that were in my office that I've gathered for large numbers of years. Okay? And here they are. And I want us as a crowdsourcing platform, I want us to try to do a little experiment on crowdsourcing. By, um, I want people to sort of guess how many pennies are in the jar. Okay? And I want us to do this in a couple of different ways. For everyone on this side of the room, let's try it like that. On this side of the room, I want you guys to quietly write down how many pennies are in the jar. Like this here is a picture of one of my biology collaborators carefully weighing each of the pennies so that to count them by weight. Okay? So he, we did an experiment to count how many weight things there are. So this was the raw predictions. For the people in this part of the room, I now want you guys to write down your uh, prediction. OK? OK? And so these are the second group of these. These are the ones that were after board. OK? But is there anybody who wants to bid on this? Okay, the amount of money that I have in this job. Okay. Yeah, I, I would try. I would give it. How much? Time. How much do you, will you give me for this? Fifteen dollars. You'll give me fifteen dollars. Right. Is there anybody else who wants to outbid him for this? Yeah. Twenty. You'll give twenty dollars. So how many pennies are there in the jar? Okay, the answer is, drum roll please. Okay, 1,879 pennies, okay? But let's just take a look at it. What is, for example, the median? I can have a hard time computing the mean here, okay? But what was the median number of pennies here? The median was, in this case, 1,250. Okay, which is a little bit below it. Okay, but actually, um, and when we take the mean, it's going to get above it. Okay, that becomes clear, right? Our median here is going to be a little bit of an underestimate. The mean is going to be a uh, an overestimate, right? Okay. For the uh, people who knew about it, what is different about the people who? saw the bets before. Can anybody tell anything about these bets? The range is less. Does everybody see that? Okay. That the same number of people. Seemingly there were fewer outliers than that. Does everybody see that? Okay. And if we take a look at what their prediction was, how did they do? 1325, okay? In this case, I would say they happen to be a little bit closer, okay? But in this case, not, 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 not wildly so. Does everybody agree? Although the mean is undoubtedly closer to what we have here on this particular case. And what is it about who did best on it, okay? If we look at the people who bet, okay? Who put their money on where it counted, right? What did they come up with as their <coughs> estimate? Well, $20 was the, uh, the one that mattered. But the estimate here, if we divide, if we come up with the median of the two people who were willing to bet on it, what did they come up with? 
approximately 1750, right? Which is remarkably close to what we have here, right? One was a little bit too much. So she owes me $1.21. Is that right? Okay, so at some point, uh, come up with that. <laughs> now, what is this? How many people, has anybody ever read this book on the wisdom of crowds? Okay, it's kind of an interesting book. It's a bestseller-like book. When is the crowd wise? Okay? In general, the crowd is wise. There's a couple of conditions that are necessary for crowds to be wise. One is that the opinions are independent. Why is it that this group of people had a narrower group of opinions than this group of people? Okay? It's because there was group think. Okay, everybody was now trying to be like the other people, right?